Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. You know, we are all owning astro cameras or DSLRs uh, for um, taking photos of the night sky. Um, the question we ask ourselves is, shall I upgrade? And is it worth the money, the upgrade? So today we are looking into two cameras. The first one is a very well-known Aussie 294 MC. This is a very famous camera and uh, there's a lot of nice pictures on Astrobin. And the other camera we will have a look into is the Aussie 2600 MC. So the bigger brother, you can already see it here in a comparison, I can feel it, it's almost double the weight of the 294. Um, we will have a look into both cameras and ask finally the question is the 2.6 really worth the additional money you spent for that thing or not? Let's stay tuned. Enjoy! Hi guys, welcome to our comparison of those two cameras, 294 versus 2600. We will look at technical specs first, then we will compare a single light uh, from a 2600 versus a 294. Then we will follow through the PixInsight process for both subs. And finally, we will come to a conclusion. Okay, here is a busy chart of the specs. 294 column on the left side, 2600 on the right side. And um, I just want to highlight some of the uh, features of the camera. So the 2600 is more than double in megapixel size compared to the 294. Um, the pixel size is a little bit smaller. Um, the read noise is lower in the 2600. Um, however, the full well, so the number of electrons before you saturate your, your pixel is higher for the 294 compared to the 2600. The 2600 again has 16-bit ADCs uh, versus the 14-bit uh, for the 294. And uh, the dimensions 294 is of course a little bit smaller, so less obstruction if you have it in front of your telescope, less weight and back focal distance is smaller for the 294 compared to the 2600. And I would rate that as an advantage because, for example, if you use a Rasa 8 like me and uh, you put a 2600 in front of the Rasa, um, then you have not only obstruction but you have very limited space not enough space to put in a filter drawer where this is possible with a 294 or other cameras who have a shorter back focal distance. And the power consumption finally is lower for the 294 compared to the 2600, but I think that's obvious. Um, price tag. So the price tag means 2600 has double the price than the 294. And you remember our initial question was, is the double the price, is the other 2600 worth the higher price tag or not? Let's come and see. These are the very busy specs from uh, ZW homepage. homepage. Um, you have here four busy charts Full well depth, that's the, another term for <laughs> how big is your bucket in collecting photons be before it saturates. So that that point goes to the 294 because the, the full well depth is higher initially uh, compared to the 2600. 
um, gain here you, here you see the, the gain um, unity gain for this camera that is the gain one electron per one ADU is 117 and uh, what you see here in those two lower charts is what happens when uh, the HCG mode uh, the high conversion gain mode kicks in that's a software feature so two things happen so you win in brightness level so you go go one step up and that's true for the 294 as well as for the 2600 so you gain here um, when you use in uh, the 2600 the gain level of 100 and in terms of the 294 the gain level of 120 so you win in dynamic range and also the read noise goes dramatically down here for the 294 from more than six electrons down to two electrons and for the 2600 you go down from more than three electrons down to 1.5 and that's always what, what I would recommend if you use those one of those cameras, use uh, the HCG high conversion gain modes and uh, don't go below only probably when you have a very, very, very dark sky, bottle one, bottle two, then I would probably think about using low gains. Otherwise, for me in, in bottle five, class uh, doesn't make any sense to not use the unity or the, the the higher gain here in this case so to enable hcg mode here a little bit explanation i don't want to go into this details but if you want you can read this page um, now let's have a look at our 120 second subs for the 2600 compared to the 294 and you see I made a picture of the uh, M16, the Eagle Nebula. That's a uh, De Bayard single 120 second light on both sides. Telescope was a Newton, mount was a EQ6, and guide scope mentioned here below. And after our first steps in PIX Insight, the automatic background extraction and dynamic background extraction, you see already that uh, the picture on the left side, so for the 2600, looks a little bit cleaner and also the structures are a little bit better pronounced. You, you see a lot of noise here in the background. Of course, here's also noise, but not that much. And this continues with the next pages. So. Um, the background neutralization tool was applied and color calibration was applied in the in the same manner. So the same process was, was used for both pictures or for both images. And uh, you see the noise here is still higher for the 294 compared to the 2600. And that continues also after stretching. Um, that image looks smoother than this one. This continues after noise reduction for both pictures and after curve transformation as well. And you see here the details are coming nicely out where here, of course, they are also here, but it's uh, more difficult to, to extract them from the background, from the noise. Um, what you see here finally is the integrated um, master processed um, this is 2600 60 minutes exposure time compared to the 294 220 minutes exposure time and I would say from my perspective both pictures look okay however um, it is easier to process this image because you have less less noise level and uh, the pronunciation of, of those little small structures is, I think, a little bit better in the 2600. Uh, even considering it's only a third of the total exposure time for the 2600 compared to the 294. Okay, that's it from here. Um, let's come to the conclusion. 
Hi guys, conclusion time. So this is my subjective conclusion or summary. For me the 2600 from ZWO is a very nice camera as it is the 294 which I owned previously. Um, the better camera is of course the 2600. I think there is no discussion about it but is it uh, is it does it justify to spend another one thousand uh, dollar for this camera i would say yes because um you have much less processing time um with the 2600 uh, images compared to the 294 and uh, the picture looks from the beginning from the very start on much cleaner so um i think if you want to show some fine details, the 2600 definitely um, helps you with that. The 294, however, is not a bad camera, don't get me wrong, but you need more um, post-processing skills to get those fine details out of your image. And uh, that's all what I want to say. And uh, I hope you enjoyed the video and see you next time. Bye.